YouTube, what is up? Good morning. Every Sunday in Mexico City, they close down a bunch of the major roads and they make it open to people who want to walk, people who want to bike, people who want to skateboard. And today we're going to be renting a couple of bicycles and checking it out. So I downloaded this app called V-Bike and we're off to a bit of a rocky start because I can't find the bike. See that blue dot is me, which means there's supposed to be a bike here. But unfortunately I can't find a bike. So one of the flaws with a bike system like this is there is nothing really stopping people from just taking the bike and putting it in their house. Um, and it seems like that's what's happened with the last couple of places we've checked because we can't find any of the bikes yet. Okay, we are in business. We found one. Just like that, we have a bike. Now, I gotta go find one. Okay, V-Bike, you are starting to redeem yourself. Nari, how would you describe the V-Bike experience so far? Sucks. Yeah. We just lost half an hour trying to find the bikes. 49 pesos a month, I guess you get what you pay for, but... Anyway, we're off and let's go see some of this beautiful city. You can see Palacio de Bellas Artes, just to my right. Beautiful building. Uh, behind me somewhere, oh there it is. <laughs> You can see the Torre Latino America, Latin American Tower. I would point to it, but I kind of need one hand for my camera and one for my, my bike right now, so I'm not gonna be doing too much pointing today. And uh, yeah, let's go show you what it's all about. Something else they do a really good job with is when you cross major intersections, you see people like this who are holding signs that will tell you when to go and when to stop. There are still busy streets that you have to cross. And uh, yeah, I think they do a very good job keeping it safe. And if you have any experience with the drivers in Mexico City, Keeping the bike safe is a major concern because <laughs> the drivers are not always thinking about your safety, that's for sure. Now guys, I'm filming with my big camera. I'm not filming with a cell phone, so as you might be able to imagine, it's a bit difficult to ride and, and talk at the same time. Uh, so I'm just going to let you guys quickly know what's coming up. So we're going right down Reforma. Uh, I have a video about this street if you guys want to learn more about it. But it's one of the main boulevards through the city, through the heart of the city. And it's going to be a really beautiful little bike ride. So let's go. There she is, El Angel de Independencia, the Angel of Independence. There's always a dance party somewhere in this city, I'm telling you guys. <laughs> And just in case you're a little bit less experienced on the bikes, they have a bike school that they run uh, for kids. But I, I've seen adults there too, actually. So if you ever want to get a bit more confidence, I think that's what that's all about. 
Anyway guys, I want to enjoy this ride without my camera for a little bit, so I'm gonna put you guys away. Next time I see you, I will probably be in Condesa. We're now in the Roma Condessa neighborhood and we're gonna take you guys to one of our favorite places to eat. So this is actually a Japanese supermarket that has some really, really delicious food. And before someone gets mad at me and says, hey, what are you doing eating Japanese food in Mexico? Because I know there's gonna be at least one of you. I want you guys to know that we do eat a lot of Mexican food. Just yesterday we had tacos for lunch and casa de toño for dinner, so. You know, sometimes you just want to switch it up and have something different. Okay, I know we're both hungry, so we're about to destroy this food. Before we do, what do you have there, Nari? Tendo. Tendo? Yeah, tempura with rice. Ooh. And what's this? Some Japanese drink. Yeah, milky. With made with rice? No. No. Okay, and what's this? Some kind of bread with like red bean inside. Red bean. Yeah. And on the other side of the table, I have some sushi rolls with uh, I don't know what to call these guys. Yubutoba. Okay. What is it? Yubutoba. Okay. Yeah. Whatever she said. I don't know how to say it, but it's got this nice sweet outside and it's delicious. And I got a salmon salad. Looking good. And a sangria. All this costs 108 pesos. So I mean, it's not the cheapest meal in the city, but I think it's quite good value because the food is always, yeah, Japanese food's always expensive, so this isn't too bad. So hey guys, that was it. Biking through the streets of Mexico City. Just so you know, the roads stay closed for bicycles until about 2 p.m. Uh, we just got back, it's 3 p.m. now. So on the way back, we had to uh, just ride the bike path like a normal day. I hope I got some good shots for you today. Like I was saying earlier on, it's a bit difficult to film while you're biking and looking out for other bikes and stuff. Uh, but I did my best. As always guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel and I'll see you next time. just doesn't work for whatever on my Android phone so we had to log out on Nari's and eventually log in again through my account and we managed to get two bikes.